I was in art school, picked up a chainsaw, asked my lecturers, how do I do this? And they said, don't bother, you'll never be any good. So I went for it. It took three months of carving before someone showed me how to sharpen it, which I was very impressed with. Because sharp chainsaws is a safe chainsaw, and it makes it lots, lots, lots more fun. I'm always making girls, and this one's Helga. She's going to be the waitress on roller skates. And I started her yesterday, so I'm going to kick into her a bit today. Basically, these bars with the narrow tips on the end are for carving. They're carving bars, and you can do finer detail with them. You can cut smaller curves. You can um, the kickback's a little less ferocious. I love them. They're fantastic. I think a lot of people see my work, and they think, "Oh, it must have taken six months to make." or she didn't do it, or oh geez, it must be really, really, really expensive. And, um, and then if it's not really, really, really expensive, they think, well, what's wrong with it? <laughs> I have a whole series of cheesy chicks I've been making from the start. I think my second chainsaw carving was a cheesy chick. They attract the wrong type of crowd. <laughs> People with no money love them. Yeah, shame about that. The name cheesy came around. It's not derogatory. Because uh, when I first went to the States in 2002, I was uh, astounded by the amount of cheesy bear carvings. Thousands of them, thousands and thousands. And basically in the States, everyone buys bears. It's the Carver's bread and butter line. I'd never seen anything like it. And the guys were like, well, your girls are pretty cheesy too. And I went, yeah, they are, aren't they? <laughs> cool, so we adopted the name. You gotta eat well. You gotta eat well, you gotta sleep well and drink lots of water. It's a dirty job. And uh, you're always covered in bar oil, and two-stroke, and sawdust. And sawdust gets into everything. Everything. And, um, yeah, you've got to get the hang of that. Sometimes I get sick of being dirty. But then I couldn't imagine doing anything else. Yo, Melbourne. <laughs> Thanks for asking me.